bitch today and forget I hit that tomorrow. Bitch, strap, you ain't strap with that fucking four fifth. 30 hanging out that bitch. Got them boys like, oh shit, a nigga wanna hold some. Let a nigga hold clips in that pump a leave shrunk like you drunk a whole fifth. See, Ruger got that Ruger, he won't hesitate to shoot you. When he shoot you, he gon' leave you screaming loud. Like a motherfucking no. Scrap, known as Scrap, is also a Chicago native from the south side of Chicago. Lil Scrap was from MOB. MOB stood for Mind on Business. Lil Scrap, real name, was Brian Weekly. MOB is a set of GDs located between 56 and 59 and Wabash Avenue. In Chicago. They had war with sets 300, 600, Front Street, and THF. They are closely allied with nearby GD sets such as Tukerville, Brick Squad, Wiggle World, CVG, and CMB. Scrap is the younger brother of Ruger from MOB. Ruga is very supportive of his brother's movement as well. MOB Ruga and Scrap have the same mother. Ruga is a rap artist who has a good flow that is very pungent and is a gangster tune. Ruger has the bars that flow alongside his brother Scrap and MOB Dooski. In part one, we talked about Lil Steve, Killer KI, and MOB Dooski. This run, we're gonna finish it. At some point, Scrap had a fallout with STL, Jaro, and some members from Tukaville, such as KI. However, MOB and other affiliates were able to work that out and gang with each other again. Scrap was very known on the streets. He always made it known who made Steve drive. That situation came from Lil Steve's death. 600 named King Drive, which is short for Martin Luther King Drive, Steve Drive. That is in memory of Lil Steve, rest in peace. MOB members stated that Scrap was a straight bully, that he had phoned them scared and they told him he needs to stop bullying people. And that having people scared of you will cause people to react out of fear and not out of aggression. A scary motherfucker will shoot quick on phone now. However, Scrap had his moments where it ain't always about drama. They have their funny moments as well.
Might well bend down a little bit. What you mean? Just bend down a little bit. What you mean like this? Yeah, a little more. A little more. That shit looks slick, boy. Squat the knees, dude. Squat the knees. Yeah, squat the knees. 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 Had his funny moments, however, not really captured live. I was just told by MOB that he had a very funny side and it should be told. Scrap always was told that his aggression toward people made him a high target and that he didn't need people to fear him, just respect him. MOB Ruger even spoke on Scrappy's aggression. Why do you think they hate Scrap so much? Why do you think they still talk about Scrap to this day? Huh? Cause Scrap was a motherfucker. A motherfucker minister. The fuck don't know. get back on the GDs from 57 to Calumet, who he believed killed his nephew, Junebug. It was later found out to MOB that the hit on Junebug was done by black gay BDs over a high-ranking member's son being robbed at a dice game on 57th and Wabash. They had assumed MOB had robbed them and they were ambushed by black gay in which they sprayed an AK-47 into a car with MOB Rob driving and struck Junebug. Using an AK-47, they got down on MOB and killed Junebug and also paralyzed MOB Rob. This lit a fire under M-Town members Dusky, Ruga, Scrap, and Muchilino. Once MOB Rob and MOB leader Boosie Saw that they were ready, he flipped Dusky, Ruger, Scrap, and Moochie to MOB. Dusky, Ruger, Scrap, and Moochie Lino were Junebug's friends, but Junebug was bloodline MOB, and his M Town friends were flipped to MOB. Scrap loved a hoop. Only place to hoop for him was 62nd and Wabash on Front Street territory. Scrap was ultimately jumped, which started a war. After Scrap got jumped, his cousin who hung with STL, Jaro, and EBT them got involved. Also, Duck and Brick are cousins with MOB Scrap. MOB outnumbered by the BDs, 300, 600, and O Block them started bringing guns due to the number the BDs had on the MOB. This led to MOB Dumo killing Baldi and MOB Scrap killing Lil Steve. Scrap was snitched out by Face from 600 on his testimony. Scrap was later indicted on murdering Lil Steve. However, he beat the case and turned super savage. 
MOV Domo, caught a body, 600 pyro, and got 40 years for that murder. MOB Dumo was two time. MOB Scrap turned savage. Him and MOB Beans disarmed FBG Young and shot him and dared STL to get back gang them. After all this wild living, life started to catch up to Scrap, in which he was shot two times before his death. MOB Scrap was first shot in his ankle at a party. A few days later, they had an altercation at Sharks on 59th and Wabash with several GDs from 56th and Shields. They opened fire on Scrap, hitting him in the chest, of which MOB Crazy shot back, saving MOB Scrap's life. 56th and Shield members had a long feud with MOB since Shields shot an MOB member in 2006. Then on June 12th, MOB Moochie, Lino, and Scrap was walking in the alley on 56 and Wabash heading to the liquor store. Scrap and Moochie were ambushed by Shields members in which Scrap was killed and Moochie Lino was shot in the face but survived. Other MOB members who heard the shots looked and seen a Shields member car speeding away. MOB scrap situation was a sad outcome. When he was alive, Dusky, Ruga, and other MOB members backed him whenever he got into Twitter beefs. Even though MOB Scrap, Brian Weekly, got gunned down on June 12, 2014, his name still rings around the block for his reputation with MOB. Why the fuck these niggas ain't hanging out on Brady? MOB Scrap also shouted out Lil J as well. He always showed love to the guys. Lil J even mentioned them in his Hang With Me remix, where he admits MOB would do drills with him. MOB continues to be a set recognized even though they have lost Dusky, Scrap, Killer K.I., and Junebug. MOB Junebug is always shouted out by Scrap in memory of his dead homie. At the castle's peak, Members were making good money, but the wealth wasn't going around, and dudes were getting robbed by MOB. On 62nd, at the Calumet building called The Castle, Front Street was trapping out of it, and MOB was robbing them. Beef between both sides started to flare. On 62nd, at the projects, Dudes was going hard. They were making good money and locking down 62nd. However, in 2007, Chicago Legislative issued a permit for 6217 South Calumet Avenue for demolition. As months goes by, the buildings are demolished. Then the property stood desolate. The castle projects were tore down but the wars caused in it spread out and MOB and Front Street had their clashes. The murder of Junebug is brought up all the time by Scrap. Scrap keeps his memory alive. 